Hi guys. Well, we're down here at the garden. This is kind of what I've been working on the last few days. Um, amongst a million other things. Um, just trying to get things cleaned up a little bit. So I was going to show you around here what's going on. And then I'm going to go back and try to gnaw on a couple cherry logs. Which will actually go on last night from you seeing this. This will go on tomorrow night. Can you figure that order out? Anyhow, <clears throat> it's just going to be a not too long, I hope. Just kind of show you what's going on. Anyhow, this is the garden. You can see the uh, potatoes which we planted maybe a week ago are coming up. I got kind of this stuff up here to keep the deer. It looks like I got to tighten these cables up a little bit. The deer will jump over this that's that's about five feet tall the deer will jump over that and we got to um might have to change it here we got everything double double fenced okay that's because if not they stick their heads through there and they get to the other one it's kind of aggravating really here's a row of wood that will be this winter's wood here's a little um <laughs> i'll introduce you you know i'm a pack rat and reuse everything or repurpose things this was, uh, I bought a whole bunch of these little brass knobs and this is just some one inch stuff that was thrown away from, uh, that I picked up, it was thrown away, it doesn't matter. Then I'm, I made a door to go, go through here. And this, um, I'm going to take you off this for a while, I know it's going to be a little bit more shaky. You see the metal going across there? Metal going up there? This was one of those carports that you buy for, I don't know, like a thousand dollars or something like that. I got two of these that somebody gave me years ago because the big snow I don't know how many years ago was that was um, collapsed he had a 24 by 24 I think it was or maybe it was a 24 by 40 he had two cars in it and I went in and helped him get the cars out I've explained this in the past but it really doesn't make any difference new people don't know and so the other shed that I showed you the other night with the bandsaw in it was one of these things here okay that's that's one of the poles going up and a couple of them they were broken off so I sawed them off to where they were usable you can see I'm missing one here but it's not holding any roof up I'm missing one over there but that's straight that's straight that's straight that's straight um, and then uh, I just sawmill wood around there and then so so that didn't cost me anything the sawmill wood I, you know I guess you could put a value on that but I don't really know what this is old old stuff thrown away from someplace. The fencing here, you've seen neighbor Jim come down from time to time. He gave me that, well it was four foot fencing and the deer go over that like it's not even there. So I doubled it up, that's why it is there. You can see, I think you can see tomato cages up there. I just put hooks up there so when you're not using them, they're kind of out of the way. Everything is planted but went to a lot of work. I tilled up in here. You might have seen this in a past video. And you see all the white stuff? That's newspaper. And see the see the circle around it? The circle around it, that's where the seeds are planted. Now in the past, I've had a big garden. I mean, big garden. All this down here that you see was all under cultivation, under rows and rows of vegetables. We used to have two, 200, 300 tomato plants, squash plants, um, everything. The shed was not here at the time and that was that field there where the trees and all stuff were that was like pumpkins and potatoes and stuff like that and up there at the top where those logs are were was all under cultivation now, i'll have to dig up a picture and show show that i got i think i got one picture this is before these kind of cameras came out i think there was a picture with one sprinkler head in the middle doing this whole sprinkling the whole thing the irrigation pumps down over the corner anyhow just lining this stuff with paper to keep the weeds out to try to make it we need to get one more tomato plant my neighbor up there um can't think of his name right now hold on i'm thinking it's tough getting senile penny he comes down from time to time his daughter started these tomato plants and um had a few extras and gave them gave them to us um i think in the past we used to give them tomato plants when but but i would start hundreds of them and then have leftovers so anyhow that's what's going on here in the garden and you got to lock this here because if you don't the deer will get in there uh, too too far push can't do it with one hand come on now 
that makes it look look really difficult it really is not that difficult I don't think well maybe it is no nah, maybe it didn't that screws in tight if you want to tighten it so you, I thought it used to guess it doesn't anymore I don't know I'll tell you what the wood swells and on swells and swells and on swells and the next thing you know you can't do you can't do nothing so now we're gonna go down here and look at the sawmill this is um well that's slab wood there this is wood I know you're along for the splitting of this I think I did that in February there might be some dates on the other side of it and you know I stacked these up high enough that um, it's a third of a cord in each one of those so I got let's see what I got here one two three there's one cord one two three that's two cord one two three that's three cord and then this thing here is I know that's more than a cord <laughs> those little bumblebees see the carpenter bee mess down there they didn't get very far because those boards are only maybe a half inch thick I think he he went in the front door and came out the back door <laughs> got to split this up this has been here for a year now um, got to get rid of that see if there's a date on some of this sometimes I put dates on them sometimes I don't I don't see anything on there I need to be better at that I used to be I'm not too good at that anymore I'll show you on the uh, sawmill down here like I said can you imagine this was all garden this was all garden here up to I don't know if you can see that berm over there we'll walk back over there. there's a berm over there and there's a berm here because when that water would come off that hill it washed through here and I'd have a six-foot path of water just eating everything out been working on it must have rained it rained here a little while ago I can tell because the water they're saying it was gonna rain <coughs> it wasn't gonna rain then it rained anyhow <coughs> This is my mess down here. I've been working on those wipes. Let me tell you. Go to Andrew's Lumber. Um, and they, they showed how their, their wipes work. And um, I think that was a lot better plan. Now here it works. Here it's all right. Because there's the bar up there. The cross member here doesn't get in the way. The cross member doesn't get in the way here. But here it gets in the way. So I'm going to. Probably and I think I might reshim this wheel here because it's not hitting this one's hitting and that one's hitting And what you got to do is undo a couple bolts in here and bring it down to where it's hitting I've played with that a little bit before Doesn't really make much difference. There's so many wheels on here um, But like this one here Well here I can get it in the front, but there I can't get it close to the back um, And one gentleman was asking me Mac why I needed a scraper in the front when this thing starts throwing this sawdust down it just impacts in here and just it gets so much sawdust in there it just builds up instantly and I don't know the wipe was the wipe was better but I'm gonna look into those guys down there had a real um, oh there's that thing to put the oiler on and somewhere in there is the little wiper I gotta make a bracket for that there's there's a little oiler I'm going to oil the track. I've showed you before because the track gets all rusticated. Anyhow, that's, that's what that is. I got, a, I got a lot of tools down here. But I've been doing... I, well, I sprayed, I sprayed quite a bit today. For two hours I was spraying. I got up this morning, it was sunny, and they said there was going to be no rain today. So I decided it would be a good day to spray. It'll, and it wasn't supposed to be any rain until Friday. And then, uh, come to find out, they weren't too accurate on that forecast this morning let's go down here for a little bit I've been weed whipping and cleaning up and cleaning up in here it's just so many days of rain that you know you put something away or do something real quick there's uh I think I'm gonna take this thing down this thing here these are what I use on batter boards and you can just turn it this one's nice and froze in now only because I've been sitting here for years um, but that that's the line for the building there if I wanted to extend it I, I just never took it up and down here I put a bunch of mulch in this was a mud hole and that was uh, chips off the planer the this this stuff here daggone you didn't see it. it looked like it was snowing in here a minute ago this stuff here if you remember 
I think last year I ground up. There must be a bee in that hole right there. Because you, right here it's snowing. I'll bet there's one in there. <clears throat> Anyhow, that's ground up telephone pole slab wood. I bought a chipper. Chip, I had just tons of that stuff. I finally just chipped it all up. Here's the old loader. Those are the leaves from not last year, the year before. And the pile at the other end is the leaves from last year. And that's what I was putting around the stuff in the garden. Got a flot tar. So, and I sprayed all around here with defoliant. I didn't like the looks of this spray. I had to buy a new kind and I didn't, I don't know if it'll work. I clean up here. Anyhow, that's what I'm doing. Um, somebody wants me to saw these uh, locust logs. Now, it's curved. You know I don't like banana boards. Okay, so you're not going to get much out of it. Then you got defects in it here. You got, so that's, that's, you might get a little bit out of it. This one here is not too bad. It's got a little rot spot here, got rot spot over there. You might get a little bit out of this one here, but as I recall, the other side's got a big bad spot in it. Yeah, down there. These are the other ones. You know, they're just not worth sawing. You got a rot in there, there. That one, you got ring shank and rot. That one, it's got ring shank on it real bad. It, it probably struck by lightning or something like that. Here, this one's rotted. So you're going to turn. It just isn't worth sawing. And he, I don't think that person's going to understand it. You got, see how this side here is all blown out of that one? So I don't think I'm going to put these, as he got rotten in the center. And the way this twists here, we're going to try to spend all day getting a little little nothing out of there <clears throat> so anyhow that's about where I'm at I gotta go back and get my this thing a couple big logs over there I'll bring you along for sawing that suppose suppose I looked at the forecast this afternoon well a little while I just finished dinner and uh, it's about 6 30 7 o'clock um, and they're calling for rain six out of the next five six out of the next seven days this is a, uh, look at that, I wonder why that potato's curling over so so soon. Anyhow, that mulch in there is that uh, leaf mulch that's down there. And that's about it, got my empty crates in a row here. That's what's going on here, and this will go on tomorrow night because I'm going to go back and do a little bit of sawing tonight. Another thing about these cans, oh, you know, they're filling up with water. I didn't think about that. You know that's that's a lot of water for a can. I didn't even didn't even think about that. Now this one here, it's leaning so that's away from it, so there's not. But the kitchen of that little hole in there, that that's uh, they jingle. <laughs> I'll be damned. Now this one doesn't have any in it. Uh, it does, but they make noise, so I was hoping they'd keep the deer out. So, and here. Birds nest everywhere. Anyhow, that's what's going on. That's the tomatoes. That's whatever, whatever's going on. That's the tarp that I got to pick up that we put over this to kill everything underneath there without putting spray on it. So um, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and we'll see you in a couple minutes back at the sawmill. But it's yesterday. Bye.